So today I have to show you a pen set from ST DuPont. And this is from the D initial line. And it is something, this is a pen I've never tried before. And it is on the ST DuPont spectrum where it's not a overpriced type of pen. In fact, this fountain pen I'm about to show you retails for $269 and I've seen it for as low as $215. So an ST DuPont known as a high quality pen might be worth a look. And that's what we're gonna do is take a look at this pen. So it comes with this white outer sleeve and it's in this kind of matte, smooth, textured clamshell box with the D for ST DuPont. Actually, that looks like, I was gonna say STD. Oh yeah, so it's all in there, STD, STDs. <laughs> STD, ST DuPont, STDs. Let's take a look at this pen. Open up the box and there's your pen. And it comes in this cushioned outer foamy thing and pen it arrives in its own plastic sleeve to keep it nice and beautiful so that enamel doesn't get all messed up or anything so let me lift up the box so yes it does this right here it lifts up and there's some paperwork in there so let's see what that is it is, oh, lots of all kinds of languages. So this is our warranty. This is our warranty and it has some illustrations of how to use this pen. It also has locations of international service centers. So that is some nice, helpful information. And let me put this back together. And so we'll now take a closer look at the pen. As soon as I take a sip of my beverage. There. Let me take this out of its plastic sleeve. So this color is what's known as scarlet red. It'd be a nice lipstick color actually. So scarlet red. So this is a, I think this is a very attractive pen. Uh, the finial has the logo on it, or the logo mark on it. And it's a nice amount of chrome here around the cap. And then right here, which is probably right above the section, it reads ST DuPont. This end of the barrel, a little chrome accent to match the rest of the pen. The clip is spring loaded. So it'll make it easier to clip it onto your shirt or clip it into your pen case. Let's take this cap off. So it just comes off like that. And the nib is a little bit of a smaller nib. This is, looks like a number five nib and it is a steel nib. So that would account for why the price is a little bit more inexpensive than some of the other pens which have a gold nib. But this one is a stainless steel nib and it has the logo mark right there in the center. There's the feed. It is also a cartridge converter. So let's take a look at that. So it does come with a converter, no cartridge in the box, but I mean, let's be honest here guys. Who, who actually uses the cartridge? Uh, they get, I never use the cartridge. I, I save them for emergencies. So I have so many ink cartridges that I don't even know what to do with them. But I do use, uh, the converter quite often because I like to put the ink that I want to go in there. You know, it's not just a basic blue or black or whatever or something, you know, if it's a blue, it's going to be special blue. It does have a metal grip section. And I know some of you guys out there are going to be like, but my fingers get all slippery when I touch the metal section, but that's okay. And I'm going to tell you why. If you look here at the very end of the section, there's like a lip or something it doesn't really flare out but it's more of a lip and it stops your fingers from going too far down so it doesn't touch the nib so it's not like horrible i mean i can relate i guess you know my hands are oily but i do use a lot of hand lotion uh, to keep them moisturized i find that to be very important 
And um, so I can understand the slippery finger thing a little bit, but whatever. I get over it. That's what I do. Does it post? Yes, it does. So it kind of has, it's kind of a strange post. Maybe it doesn't post. What the hell? I'm not sure if it posts or not. It might post, but it doesn't seem like it would stay on to post. So I don't know if you're one that posts your pens, if this is the right pen for you, but in the hand, it actually is, you know, it's a good length. It's not, it's not too short. Now, if you have bigger hands, this might be too short for you now, but the one thing I can see about the posting thing, I do like that click though. There, let's do that one more time. It's satisfying. I do happen to have with me the rollerball version of this pen. So let's see. That's what the rollerball looks like. So does it post? I mean, you know, if it posts, okay, so there's kind of like, it feels like it, and maybe that's so it doesn't scratch the enamel, but it feels like you can post it and it stays. <laughs> but you can write with it like that, but I don't know. It's, um, if this, if this, if this were the pen I was gonna be writing with, I wouldn't post it just afraid that it would fall off. But. Um, I also happen to have the ballpoint version of this pen. So here is the whole set. And you twist the bottom here. You twist, I guess the section is what you would call it. And it has that little something on there that protects the ballpoint until you, you know, you get it home. I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'll probably do a writing sample with it. So I'm just gonna do this. There, voila, I took it off. I feel like a, I feel like a badass rebel. Whew, it feels good to be a rebel. Woo! And it's only Monday. Here's the ballpoint. So I'll hold these up together. Rollerball. Fountain pen. The fountain pen and rollerball, you know, I mean, they pretty, pretty much are like the same. Same body, same cap, same barrel. Only, you know, different pen is the ballpoint. But I do find that it's a very attractive color. It also comes in other colors. I saw it in black, um, black with silver trim, black with gold trim. And also it's kind of a nice light blue color. So if, if um, scarlet red isn't your cup of tea, maybe those other colors are. So you're not just uh, married to the one pen. So the fountain pen, here's the fountain pen again. Retails for $269, and you can find it as low as $215. The Rollerball retails for $229, and you can find it for as low as $183. And then finally, the Ballpoint Pen retails for $189, and you can find it for as low as $151. Again, if you can head over to, you know, a, a pen retailer that you really like and find a coupon code, you can get it even lower than that. So get the best deal that you possibly can on these pens. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to perform some writing samples and I will perform a writing sample with the fountain pen, rollerball and the ballpoint. I will be inking up the fountain pen with uh, a great color match, I think. It's uh, Candy Marsala from Ferris Wool Press. So I, you know, maybe that'll work nicely. And I'll also do a writing sample with the rollerball and the ballpoint, even though I'm not like a huge ballpoint, but since this is not a Bic, I'll do it. I'll totally do it. All right, let's do this.
for joining me for this look at the ST DuPont D initial series in scarlet red. So not bad for a stainless steel nib. I'm not, I have no complaints. It actually writes pretty smooth. And, you know, I find it, it's actually not as expensive as some stainless steel nibs and pens that you get with other brands. I find it to be a little bit less. So, and it still writes just as good. So if an ST DuPont is something that is on your bucket list, why not start with the stainless steel version and, you know, start from there. I mean, it's a nice pen. It is really nice. And I totally, you know, I get what the big deal. ST DuPont needs, you know, it needs a little more love, I think. And are you willing to love the ST DuPont D-Line? It's a question of the day. I don't know, I think I am. I like this color. I mean, I, I like the color. Scarlet Red's pretty nice. <laughs> well, that's all I have. I'd like to thank Coles of London for sending these over to me for a review. It was a very enjoyable experience. And I, you know, I do recommend these pens. I think the price is great. And I think it's a quality brand. And well, I guess that's all I've got. And that's how the ink flows. Oh,